Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tara and here on my channel, I teach you guys how to make homemade skincare products. So I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to formulate something using alpha hydroxy acids, but alpha hydroxy acids aren't as simple as just add it in your cosmetic, call it a day, and slap it on your face. They're really tricky to formulate with and you gotta have like a special technique when incorporating them into your skincare routine. So in my last video, I talked all about what alpha hydroxy acids are, how to incorporate them into your skincare routine, and just a little information on how to formulate with them. So if you don't know anything about alpha hydroxy acids, I'll link that video down below and I recommend watching that before you actually go to formulate with alpha hydroxy acids. So I just wanted to recap on a little bit of what I talked about in my last video because it's really important. But if you've never used an alpha hydroxy acid before, it's best to start out with a small percentage. I personally have really dry sensitive skin and I started with a 5% lactic acid and my skin reacted fine. I was able to use it daily until I realized I didn't really need it daily anymore and I broke it down to maybe like two to three times a week and then I eventually just quit using it for a little bit and I only use it whenever my skin is like acting up. Because when you are using an alpha hydroxy acid, it's best to always wear sunscreen. You need to wear sunscreen because you're literally slawing off the dead skin cells on the surface of your skin, Feeling that new skin underneath which is very sensitive so you're going to sunburn easy when using alpha hydroxy acids so you want to make sure you are protecting yourself with a sunscreen for up to seven days after use so that's why I don't really use it all the time just you know so my skin's not super sensitive to the Sun all the time that's why I typically just use it whenever my skin is acting up and it's not really something that I think you need to use every single day for the rest of your life I think it's good to use for a while and then maybe take a break from it and then go back to it that's just my technique when using it and then once you get used to using alpha hydroxy acids, you can work your way up to higher percentages. So enough about that, let's actually talk about what we're making today. So I'm going to be making a lactic acid toner at about 5%. So I'm going to keep this formulation really simple and basic because like I said, formulating with alpha hydroxy acids is kind of tricky. So I just want to keep this formulation really simple. So all we're going to be using is some distilled water and we're going to measure that out and then add in our lactic acid. And then once you add that in, you need to take the pH level of your cosmetic and this pH level typically drops to around two or three sometimes even one so you need to bring that pH level back up and you need to bring it up to around 3.5 to 4 before actually using it on your skin. And after you buff the pH back up, then you need to add in your preservative. Don't add it in before you buff the pH because a lot of preservatives are active in really low pH levels. So make sure you balance it first and then add in your preservative. That's the best way to do it. But yeah, those are the few things I wanted to mention before we get into this formulation. Sorry for all the babbling. I know you guys just want to see the recipe, but this information was important. But anyways, let's just get into the recipe so you can figure out how to make a 5% lactic acid toning solution. So this is the lactic acid I'm going to be using in this formulation. I purchased this lactic acid from makingcosmetics.com and as you guys can see this is an 88% concentration which means there is 88% lactic acid and 12% water. So we can't just simply add 5% of this lactic acid in and call it a 5% lactic acid solution. We have to figure out what 5% of it is and I ended up doing the math and I figured that out. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I wrote out this formulation. So first off, I did the math and I figured up that 5.6% of lactic acid will equal 5% lactic acid since I'm using a diluted solution. Next up, I'm going to be writing down my preservative. And I'm going to be using 4% Lewisidal SF Complete. But you can use whatever water-soluble broad-spectrum preservative you want. I'm just going to be using Lewisidal SF Complete as I typically do here on my channel. And then the last thing you need to do is figure out how much distilled water you need. So all you need to do is take 100 and subtract 5.6 from it and subtract 4 from it and you get 90.4. So that means we're adding 90.4% distilled water. So I'm going to be making a total of 2 ounces. And 2 ounces equals 60 grams. And it's a lot easier to work in grams because it's a smaller measurement and it's just so much easier to weigh out grams rather than ounces when you're working with small formulations. So to figure out what 5.6% of 60 grams is, it's actually really easy. All I do is Google, what is 5.6% of 60 grams? And it is 3.36. So all you need to do is jot down 3.36 grams. Then just simply do it again with 4%. And your answer is 2.4 grams. And then I did it again with the 90.4% and that equals 54.24 grams. 
So here's where it gets kind of confusing, so make sure you listen up. We're going to need to leave some empty water space for our buffer solution. Our buffer solution is a 10% diluted lye solution, and if you don't know how to make a 10% diluted lye solution, then go check out my video on how to raise and lower pH levels. And I talked to you guys all about how you can raise pH levels and how you can lower pH levels. And in this case, we're going to be raising the pH level. And like I said, we're using a 10% lye diluted solution. And I'm not quite sure exactly how much we need. So we need to leave a little bit of an empty space to add that in. So I'm just going to be simply subtracting 5 grams from the distilled water. So that means we're technically only going to be adding in 49.24 grams of the distilled water at first. That way we're leaving space for our buffer solution. And then whatever's left over will add in at the end. You guys will see what I mean once we do it. So let's get started making the 5% lactic acid toning solution. So as always, you're going to need a digital scale that weighs to 0.01 grams. And I'm going to be using this 200 milliliter glass beaker to weigh everything out in. So first we're starting with 49.24 grams of distilled water because remember we needed to subtract 5 grams from it so we can leave space for our buffer solution. And then we're going to be adding in our lactic acid and again remember this is a diluted solution so we can't just add in 5%. We had to figure out what 5% of this diluted solution is and it ends up equaling 5.6% which equals 3.36 grams. So go ahead and mix the lactic acid in with your distilled water and take the pH level. So as you can see, this dramatically dropped to around 2.8. So it's a really low pH level, and we need to raise it back up using our 10% diluted lye solution. So I first added in about five drops, and I mixed it in. So you wanna record how many drops and how much water you added in. So I ended up adding in 0.13 grams of my lye solution. So I went ahead and took the pH again, and as you can see, it only bumped it up like 0.1 of a pH level. So I went ahead and added in five more drops. You only wanna add a few drops at a time. And this one weighed out to about 0.16 grams. So I mixed that in, waited about a minute, and took the pH level again. You wanna make sure you wait about a minute in between each time you take the pH level, because it can take a little bit for the pH to balance. So it only raised to around three pH, so I went ahead and added in 15 drops this time. And that ended up equaling around 0.47 grams. So I just kept doing this until I finally got it up to a 3.5 pH level. So you want to, like I said, record all the amount of the lye solution you added in and then add it all up. So I ended up adding in 1.62 grams of the lye solution. So that means you need to take five because remember we left five grams of distilled water out in the beginning and subtract the 162 that you added in of the lye solution. And that equals 3.38 grams. So that means we're going to be adding in 3.38 grams of distilled water into our solution. I know this is a bit confusing, but I hope it makes sense to you guys. And last but not least, we're adding in our preservative. I'm using Lewisidal SF Complete, but you can use whatever broad spectrum water soluble preservative you want. Just make sure you're using the correct suggested usage rate. For Lewisidal SF Complete, it's somewhere between 2 to 4%, and I used that at 4%, so that equals 2.4 grams. So just one last time, I mixed everything together to make sure everything is well combined. And then I took this two ounce glass bottle to store my 5% lactic acid toning solution in. And I'll link down below to where I purchased these bottles. I purchased them in bulk, so I'll also try to find some on Amazon so you don't have to like purchase a crap ton of them. So here is the 5% lactic acid toning solution once it's all bottled up. And then the last thing I did is I created a label just like I do with most of my products here on my channel. And if you don't know how to create a waterproof label, I'll link down below to my video that shows you guys exactly how I create my labels and how I waterproof them. So if you don't know how to use this toning solution, well, all I do is simply take a cotton round, pour a little bit of the toning solution on the cotton round, and then gently dab it into my skin after cleansing, but before moisturizing. And you wanna make sure you're wearing a sunscreen for up to seven days after use because your skin gets really sensitive when using alpha hydroxy acid. So just make sure you keep that in mind. So I do hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. Like I said, this is a 5% lactic acid toning solution. I do plan on doing a more like in-depth lactic acid toner in the future. I also plan on making a couple other products with lactic acid as well. But in my next video, I will actually be formulating with the fruit acid complex from Formula Tour Sample Shop, which is just a mix of fruit extracts that work together to work as an alpha hydroxy acid. And you don't have to worry about balancing the pH of that product. So if you're worried about the whole balance 
balancing the pH thing because I know that can be kind of tricky and confusing and more, you know, more work, then using this fruit acid complex will be perfect for you because you don't have to balance the pH out. So now the last thing we need to do is give my patrons a shout out. If you didn't know, I do have a Patreon over there. You get early access to videos. You get access to my blog. So every time I do a skincare related video like this one, there is a blog post that goes right along with it. So you can actually literally download the recipe and directions and print it out, make it anytime, make yourself a little booklet, a bunch of recipes. So there's a few perks over there. There's also a tier that you can sign up for where you get a shout out at the end of each of my videos and you get a link to whatever website you want in the description box. So if you sell cosmetics, then this is a perfect way to get some publicity. And I have four lovely people I need a shout out. The first one is Herbalist Tracy who owns Essence of Nature and I did a review over her products a while back. I will put down in the description box a link to her Etsy shop and a link to the video of me reviewing her products. The next person is Musical Mood Ring who owns Stardust Bath and Body. As of right now when I'm recording this video, her website is not live. I do pre-record my videos a lot, so her website may be live, but if not, hop on over there, type in your email, and you can get notified for when her website goes live. Or you can go follow her on Instagram at Stardust Bath and Body. Next up is Nature's Farm Girl who owns naturesfarmgirl.com. She makes natural body and skincare products, so hop on over there. I'm sure you will find something you love. And the last shout out goes to Kennedy's Essentials. You can go over to kennedysessentials.net. They sell all kinds of different hair care products and the website looks super cute. So go over there and check it out. So those are all my shout outs for today. If you want an opportunity for your website to be shouted out on my channel, then go over to my Patreon and sign up for the shout out tier and you'll have early access to videos, access to my blog, and a shout out at the end of each of my videos. One last thing, as I mentioned in every single one of my videos, is I do sell homemade skincare products over on Etsy. I'll link my Etsy shop up here and I'll link it down in the description box so it's easy for you guys to find. So I hope you guys have a great week and hope to see you guys next time. Bye! I'm stuck in the motions I've been consumed by the wrath of time Like I'm from I'm shattered in this life It's still the path that I've chosen Because I've had a vision Now I'm on a mission to find myself